today on Florida Sport Fishing. Sunrise City right here, baby. Beautiful American Red Snapper. Yellow Edge, that's my boy. This is one of my most favorite fish to catch down here. Beautiful. That's why you come out here. You get quality fish like that. Ho oh, ho, what on? CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing. Television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. There's a sailfish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one on! <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Nice jump! Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses VMC Coastal Black Hooks, engineered to withstand the harshest saltwater environments. Salt Life Optics, Italian style and Zeiss lenses provide unparalleled contrast and clarity for finding fish faster. Tsunami, a complete line of tackle and tools designed and manufactured for maximum fish catching success. Boat Outfitters, from replacement parts to hard to find hardware, boat owners and builders count on BoatOutfitters.com. King Sailfish, providing anglers worldwide with the finest fish mounts. Visit kingsailfishmounts.com and order your trophy today. Birthed at the southernmost port in the U.S. waits the legendary Yankee captains, a Caterpillar-powered aluminum fishing machine. Anxious anglers come loaded with big gear and even bigger dreams, embarking on multi-day adventures words alone cannot describe. Led by Captain Greg Mercurio, a pioneer of East Coast long-range fishing, the 100-foot headboat leaves Key West in her wake as she steams toward a distant horizon. Patiently waiting for my first bite. Yep, this might be the right kind. Beautiful colors, very aggressive. So we came to this spot for him. <laughs> bite's on, boys, the bite's on. Look how pretty that fish is, right? Look a beautiful color. Gorgeous. <laughs> cool thing about fishing out here on these long range trips, you don't know what ain't your bait? Could be a porgy, could be a red snapper on this spot here, because obviously loaded in snappers. Could be a grouper. Feels like a snapper, but I'm not guessing. But that whole variety and all quality fish, that's what makes it all worth it. Uh oh, oh, I got sharked. Look at that. Look at that. Shark grabbed it. Well, was a pretty mutton. This one on a jig. It's a cool thing about here, you could fish bait, chunks of squid, fresh goggle eye, pretty much anything fresh, or you could drop a diamond jig to the bottom. Beautiful American red snapper. Very similar to the mutton snapper, but not quite as colorful. Pretty much same habitat. Great eating fish on the dinner table. And we've been fishing for an hour and I just limited out. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CV Z is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CV Z. Schedule a C trial today.
We're gonna try out this new folding fillet knife from Bubba Blade on these big grouper. We're gonna try to gut them and see how this thing works. Oh man, like butter. I mean, that, that, that doesn't get any easier. Golly, unbelievable. Right through like butter. I love the new gut knife from Bubba Blade. It's compact, the best of all. It's like a pocket knife, man. You just close that thing up and put it away. Love it, great little knife. Fortress, the world's best anchors. Stronger, faster, lighter. High-tech aluminum alloy makes Fortress anchors the easiest to handle. Precision machining and sharpening results in the fastest setting anchor. Fortress buries deep for the strongest holding power. With eight models from four to 69 pounds, there's a Fortress anchor for you. Fortress, stronger, faster, lighter. It's in the heartbeat, it's in the real thing, you can make it up. It's in your soul, deep. it's in the stars, the stripes, the dirt on my feet. The way I love my woman and I wish you love for me, it's in the heartbeat. Geico, more than just car insurance. Nice. Nice. Hi, Carlos. Yeah. It's mutton snapper right there. Beautiful. We're aboard the Yankee Captains, our annual head bow trip. And you guys know we absolutely love our CV. You know, both the 370Z and the 270 Bay Boat. But once a year, we like to come out on this head boat here and do a long range trip with 20 to 25 really lucky anglers. You know, we're fishing long range out of Key West, really anywhere from 50 to 100, even 120 miles off the beach. And these trips, the duration will last, you know, two days on the short side, all the way on up to four days on the long side. And that's what this is. It's a four day long range trip. We got started yesterday. You know, we had a great red snapper bite yesterday evening on the first couple of drops. We filled the boxes. Filled the boxes, mm -hmm. limited out. Limited right out. across Every the board. Every customer on the boat. Yeah. Every single guy on the boat limited out on red snapper. So the red snapper population out here in the Gulf is certainly healthy. Mm -hmm. And here it is the second day. You know, we're getting started. We've got some nice groupers, some nice mutton snappers already. But I gotta tell you, I mean, this long range head boat fishing, a lot of really good benefits, especially with a big group of guys. You know, we've got a full galley with gourmet food. Air conditioned bunks, yeah. you know, yeah. hot shower. These are all of the essentials that you need for two dozen anglers for up to four days out you here. You gotta have the energy to be out here four days. Oh yeah, too, that's so. for sure. Yeah. You know, some of the key things, you know, one thing that I really enjoy about this kind of fishing, you know, is the solitude. You know, your cell phones are not gonna work out here. You know, you are forced to disconnect from everything that's happening in the real world, we'll call it and just to completely unwind and really fish and have a great time. The only thing you want to connect to is what's down there. That's right, That's you know. What, what do you like the most about it? You know, what's what most really- most exciting to me is every bait I drop down, I may get a mutton snapper, I may get a big grouper, I may get a tuna fish. It's just super the exciting, the variety, the size of the fish. You're right, you're right. So it's quality and quantity and variety, you know, because you're going to catch fish out here the largest of any one particular species. You're gonna come out here and catch the biggest mutton snapper you ever caught, or the biggest red grouper you ever caught, or the biggest black grouper you have ever caught, and some exotic species are gonna pop up as well. Carlos, what stands out to you? You know, what do, what do you enjoy about these long range trips the most? Well, what you just mentioned, the variety, and you don't know what you're gonna catch. I mean, one of the last trips, I caught a long-tailed uh, bass, you know, mm -hmm. when we were dropping, and. I've never seen one of those things, right. I mean, not even in, in real life, so it was pretty awesome. Knock that off your bucket yeah, list. Yeah, exactly. You know, another thing too is the camaraderie. You're out here with a couple dozen anglers for multiple days at a time. Oh, oh. and you really get to know these guys, you know, and, and you form these friendships and these bonds that just can't be formed any other way. You know, and guys will fish around the clock, some guys will fish at night, some guys will fish during the day. 
You know, we, we seem to never leave the rail, you know, <laughs> day, until, night, day, <laughs> night, right, day, night. until just sheer exhaustion takes over. But I'll tell you what, if you've never done this kind of fishing, you need to check out yankeecaps.com. See the different options, the different varieties of trip. They sail from Key West year round on two to four day trips. And I'll tell you, it's an experience you'll never forget. Look at the color on this uh, thing, dude. Look how beautiful he is. Mutton snapper and a hand bone. Real important to mention when you come out here on this head boat on the Yankee captains fishing late spring, certainly in the summertime, you've got to deal with the elements and you got to prepare accordingly. You're going to be out here in the sun, blazing sun, and on a day like today with no wind at all, it could really, really be hot. Protective face masks, hats, the long sleeve protective pelagic shirts, plenty of sunscreen, lip balm, salt life sunglasses. I mean, all of these are gonna make a big difference in your comfort level, and the more comfortable you are, the longer you'll be able to stay at the rail and the more fish you'll put in the boat. I had a jig on, I just tied it on to see if something pick it up, and I couldn't even get it to the bottom, because either a tuna or a bonita, that's what it looks like, just ate it, hit it down as it was falling, and now it's racing to the surface. Just let it go. I don't know if it had teeth, so I'm gonna check it. It's one thing you guys should always do. Almost made the mistake, but I caught myself in the middle there. After you get a fish on, always check your leader. No matter what you're fishing, because you don't know. See, <laughs> good thing I did. That could have been a kingfish, actually. Now what I did, I mean, you could fish these. It's pretty much just a diamond jig, a hammer jig but I'll put a little piece of a bonita strip on it. And this thing swimming through the water has some crazy wiggle factor. So the grouper, snapper, anything that eats fish and bait fish will eat this. Pro's Tip, presented by Pelagic Gear, official apparel provider of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Quick tip for you here, guys. If you're heading out on the Yankee Captains on a long range trip, I don't care if it's a two day trip, a three day, even a four day trip, proper preparation is gonna make all of the difference. Do not wait for the last minute to get ready for this trip. There's a lot involved. It's like a two to four day camping trip for starters. So you need all your personal items, quality coolers with plenty of ice and water and, and your food, whatever you want. Even though there's a galley on the boat, you're gonna need snacks. But most importantly, fresh bait, you've gotta prepare in advance and tackle. I cannot stress it enough. Having the proper gear, the right rods, the right reels, the right line, and in our rigging station, we're gonna talk about everything in detail, but having all of that equipment with you and ready to go in advance of the trip is gonna make all of the difference. If you're not sure, if you've never been on a trip like this before, listen, call the captain, visit their website. They've got a checklist right on their website. Call me, I've done dozens of these trips. I'll be more than happy to explain everything to you in detail. It's gonna make all of the difference in the world. That's Grouper Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. Soft science, on and off the water, I love these shoes. Amazingly lightweight, fast drying, stable and supportive. 
based on biomechanics, soft science shoes reduce foot and back pain and are the most comfortable footwear I've ever worn. And when you stand on the deck of a boat all day, that makes a big difference. Anglers and boaters demand shoes that are slip resistant, non-marking and stain and odor resistant, and soft science delivers. Dozens of fashionable styles and colors available at softscience.com. It's your turn to score big. Book a long-range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year-round. I guess it's a ham bone or something, but it's not an AJ. Because the current is so light today and the wind is so light, it's given us the opportunity to fish this much, much deeper water. We're fishing for 450 feet of water. That gives us the opportunity to catch some nice queen snappers and other types of snappers that we normally wouldn't be able to do. Every long range trip aboard the Yankee Captains is gonna vary depending on conditions. The weather, the sea conditions, you know, the duration of the trip. You have two days, three days, four days. Obviously the longer trips open up, you know, a lot more windows and a lot more opportunities to fish deeper water, further from shore. So, but what I would recommend if you're just getting into this long range fishing, start on the smaller sites. Start on those two day trips to the Dry Tortugas where you're gonna be fishing 50 miles off the beach you know, and then work your way up to these multi-day, three and four day trips. Gray tile. There you go, you know, hey, nice talk tile. about variety. Variety, right? You've caught the mutton snappers, now a tile fish, Red and a snapper. beautiful blue line tile. Again, conditions have allowed us to come out here to this deeper water where you're gonna find these deeper species. Look at that guy, good eating fish. This is a quality fish right here. Average size? You know, average size out here, 100 miles out into the Gulf. You're looking at four to eight pounds. Nice. Now you're gonna catch them over 10, but you're looking at four to eight pounds. So we just made a quick move, you know, to a little bit deeper water. And a tip that I can share with you guys is make sure that you adjust your lead according to the depth of water and the conditions. You know, the same current that's in 400 feet might not be the same in you know seven to eight which is where we're fishing right now to give you an example you know i was fishing eight eight ounces ten ounces before and now i had to bump it up to a pound of lead just the whole bottom so make sure you you know adjust accordingly it'll keep you connected to the bottom and it'll keep you connected to more fish mm. it just got heavier there's a variety of options that you can use for reels here there's a lot of guys that'll prefer the electric which is nice but, I mean, everybody, I think, has a, a personal preference when it comes to gear ratio and reels. I, I like a five to one, because it's like a, a nice balance between speed and torque. So, yeah, you're not gonna get the fish super fast to the boat, but you'll get, get them to the boat if you take your time. And this is the Iowa Saltiga 50. It's just a, a workhorse of a reel. You can't beat it. Stainless steel gears, sealed bearings, super amount of power. Crazy. Iowa makes some killer stuff. Yellow edge, that's my boy. This is one of my most favorite fish to catch down here. And the tastiest grouper in my book by far. The yellow edge grouper. Catch them in deep water, four to 800 feet. You can see the colors on them, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Mama's gonna be happy with that one. Real important here, guys. I know Carlos talked a lot about different sinkers. The line, the braid, super, super essential. I find out here in the deep water, 30 pound diamond braid is the perfect balance. You want that really, really thin braid because it allows you to fish with the least amount of lead as possible and to reach the bottom with as much of a vertical presentation as you can. Additionally, that 30 pound braid is super sensitive so you can feel every bite. And finally, maximum line capacity on your reel. Anything lighter than 30, 
you're asking for trouble. Certainly you can fish 40, 50. I wouldn't recommend anything over 50. But like I said, I find that 30 pound diamond braid to just be that perfect balance on these long range trips. This might be my big fish of the trip. So I'm taking my time and I don't want to lose it. This is how a lot of people lose their fish. They rush it. They just, they crank on it too hard. They don't have the patience and they lose it. You gotta take your time. That's why you come out here. You get quality fish like that. Maybe 20. Nice snowy grouper. This is an amazing fish though. It's down there just sitting along the rocks, waiting for anything to swim within 10 feet of it and just houses it pretty much with that nasty mouth right there. You don't want to get stuck in, in that mouth right there. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. You've been watching us out here. Long range trip aboard the Yankee Captains right now. We're oh, easily 100 miles outside in the Gulf. And we talked a lot about tackle and how important it is. And I wanted to just talk to you in detail about the rod that I'm fishing here. This is an eight foot Chaos Scold rated for 30 to 80 pound line. That's 30 pound mono up to 80 pound braid. The eight foot length is really important. Enables you to keep that rod tip out away from the boat, prevent the line from going under the boat. You can also cast baits a little bit further. Gives you a little bit more leverage as well. Got the rod matched to a Daiwa Saltiga 50H hyper speed reel. Okay, I like that extra speed, especially when you're fishing this ultra deep water here in 700 foot. <sighs> Reels loaded with hundreds and hundreds of yards of fresh 30 pound diamond braid, which isn't so fresh anymore. Not after these last 30 hours. And we talked a lot about the rig, but again, that rod, you need a stout conventional rod, a stout eight foot conventional rod, something though that has a little bit of a soft tip so you can constantly feel exactly what's going on below the surface and constantly monitor your bait. And at the end of the day, the outfit's gotta be light. You're gonna be standing at the rail for two days, three days straight sometimes with very, very little sleep. And you want a rod that's comfortable and light, but yet super strong. I can't stress how important that is. Florida Sport Fishing is the number one magazine for resident and visiting anglers. Each giant issue is packed with informative editorials, easy to follow illustrations, and tips to keep you hooked up. Subscribe today and I'll deliver the magazine to your home for only four cents a day. Visit fsftv.com right now and I'll also include a hat, unlimited access to Florida Sport Fishing Digimag for your tablet and phone, and a special gift to keep you cool on and off the water. Joey Accardi Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram reminds you that before you can do this, you have to do this. And before you can do that, you're going to need this. Save thousands on every new Ram truck at Joey Accardi in Pompano Beach. Family owned and operated and bringing South Florida our best deals for over 25 years. So before you can do this, do this. And before you can do this, you have to do this. Visit JoeyAccardiCDJR.com. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MFD chart water, Navnet TZ Touch. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Motor Guide Trolling Motors. Precise control and accuracy in challenging conditions means better fishing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest trailer dealer has the right boat, cargo, or utility trailer at the right price. BioGreen Clean, the first heavy-duty, environmentally friendly, multi-surface cleaner that actually works. 
Tsunami. Hard plastic poppers and stick baits designed to deplete local fish populations. Please practice catch and release. Frigid Rigid. From 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers, fish coffins, and freezers on the water. Look at that double queen. Check that out. 10 pounder on the front, 10 pounder on the back. So, got two fish on, got a two hook rig. Is it two tiles? Hard to see so far. No, that one's a grouper on the top hook and a gray tile on the bottom hook. Double header right there. Thought it was one big grouper. Instead it was a smaller snowy and a big gray tile fish. Almost 850 feet. Reason I chose squid is squid is very malleable, okay? Very soft. So when these fish eat it, you don't miss them too often, okay? If you put a piece of bait, you know, with bones or whatever, yeah, they'll mouth it, they'll eat it. With this, it's like spaghetti going down, you know? Very soft. The only thing they're gonna feel is the hook in the corner of their mouth. It's a great bait, everything in the ocean eats squid. All right. Arrowfish, Bully Ridge, Florida Sport Fishing TV. I will be booking next year's trip. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.